Hi friends, welcome back. I am Wicked Crafty Mom, also April, and I wanted to go over some more backgrounds and accents with you. So, um, this probably will not be an hour because eldest child is coming to dinner, so I have to have to have to have the table because we need the room. Um, so. Anyway, um, and I want to visit with him, obviously. So, um, okay. So this is my idea book. And so the first one I'm going to show you is actually in my idea book. This is the first page. This is the second page. But check this out. This is page two of the second page. This is page three of the second page. So you add extra writing space so if you have a long thing that you want to write about like a long story then you can just continue on a second page and your pages don't have to be blank and they don't have to you know match um, each other even because you can have three pages in a letter that are different papers too so um, they don't have to match one another or even themselves um, I just did it because of the format that I'm using it in. So this is my idea book, as I mentioned. So anyway, that is page one. I mean, that is, yeah, background page idea number one. So I'll show you how to make this. And this is page background. Look at me being prepared, you guys. I'm prepared. This is idea number two, which is drawing on book pages and this will use up your book pages it'll help you go through them um, in this one so I don't need this this top here so I'm just gonna take it because it's not gonna match <laughs> the heads on pikes are not gonna match probably very few pages in my book so I'm just cutting it off so that this is what's left. So, um, and then I'll just put this in my scraps. So now I've got this page and it's ready to go and I could cut trim around it more um, if I want. So, and then this one is the full book page. This is the size of the entire book page. Um, it's a very small page and I really like that. And this one is a dictionary page, and I just kind of filled it in loosely. I wanted to do, this one was more of a stained glass. I like that idea. Oh, so there was other stuff I meant to show you about this. So this one I alternated, or did some, you know, just strict coloring. And this one, um, I also uh, did some doodling. And this one I doodled just stripes one direction, uh, one color, another color, the other direction. Um, it's not quite plaid, but it kind of looks it. And then just some zigzags. And I just took different color markers. I grabbed a handful, it was a random handful. But I wanted you to see that this will create decoration and you don't even have to do a ton. You can just, you can just decorate with lines of different colors and it will make an effect. So this one I doodled, the background is different. I made like a little scene um, with a basket and a balloon. And, um, you know, I put little details in, like there's a heart here, um, and that kind of thing. And I just thought it was, I just thought it was pretty. Just use the colors that I had. They're the same colors that are on this. They're the ones I grabbed. And then this was similar. So I was going to make one that was painted black. I've shown some, or not painted black, but filled in in the background black. And I've shown some like that before. And um, the thing about that is that my black was dying. So I couldn't do that. So I did a little different take. I've got, you know, I just doodled on this. And, you know, that's my decoration. Now I've, 
I've cut pieces off these before when I've made them. If I've done a pat, just a straight pattern on the back, kind of like this one, um, then I have torn pieces off and used it in collage. So that's, so that's cool. And this one, so look at, look at my notes. All right. So these are book. Oh, so this is for the, um, flip flop. What am I doing here? Oh, and this is the third idea. Okay. Derp. All right. This is the third idea. And that is to collage big pages together, like full book pages together in order to um, then cut pieces out. So I did that here. I was waiting because I knew that there was a time when the boys come home where it's a little bit rowdier than, you know, now, for example. So, um, yeah. So it was the three, three pages were the drawn ones, this one, and then the flip flop pages. So I'm going to start with the flip flop page. This is just background right now, basically. Um, I was waiting anyway, and that's why I was telling you that because this is the, the collage I made while I was waiting. And that's why it was relevant. Okay, so we're gonna make this one. I'm gonna show you again. I haven't done a lot of decorating on it, um, but I did use just, um, clusters that I made on it just to add some interest and then this is where I'm writing ideas and stuff down like if I don't have an example per se to show like I just have an idea and I want to write it down it's going to go on this part so there's that so we're going to make that first so I grabbed three pieces of paper that are not alike, but they have the size that I need available. And they are um, different, you know, shades of white. They're, they have something on the back that I don't necessarily want anybody seeing nobody needs to see I printed this like four times so I've got like four copies of this tomato rocket thing which is funny because the plants died but they were such a big deal there's a lot of backstory about tomato rockets so I did want some of the packaging but not all of it and not four times and it's funny so um, I can only put this in so many places so I don't need this one so I, this is the size of the page whoops let me try that again this is the size of the page that is in the book where I'm going to be placing this so I'm cutting them all to the same page size I'm not sure which one it's pretty close and I will ink where I need to ink that's gonna be my philosophy I will ink where I need to ink. all right and this is just uh, this is another page this part is the part that's gonna be hidden so this is the part that I'm gonna be writing on I get um, like I did on the last one okay I gotta scoot it up a little bit My template is not anywhere near perfect, so um, I know there are going to be inconsistencies. And we're still recording. Okay, so um, just cutting my edges off. Okay, there's page two, and this is page three. And this is something that I meant to 
print on the back here, but when it went through the printer, it printed on top of this thing, so it's kind of a bust. So I am going to grab my, yeah, this. You know what's throwing me off? I usually look for this dad and kid here, and that's how I know um, what I'm looking for. So that, that post-it was definitely throwing me off. All right, so I've got my three pieces cut out, almost. And it actually fell pretty well on some of these lines. Anyway, so I've got my three pieces cut out. And now I'm gonna fold them in half. Doesn't matter which way I fold them right now. I just need to get that crease in there. I'm throwing scraps out. Okay. I just wanted to, that's, that's important. <laughs> Sorry about under my nails. I've been inking. My nails are dirty. Now I'm self-conscious about it. Okay. So all right, now I've got these three pages and I'm gonna ink them because I want to, you don't have to do this part, but I like inking things. It's kind of, it's so relaxing to me. So my friend asked me, I was inking, I was talking on the phone with her, and she asked me, she was like, are you filing your nails? And I was like, I don't file my nails very often, so if I'm doing something and you think I'm filing my nails, I'm probably inking something. I may be senile, I may have just told you a story that I told you yesterday, I don't know, but. I can't remember. I remember wanting to tell you. I don't remember actually whether I did or not. Okay. Doesn't matter right now. Hold on. So I'm going to keep inking. And I want to ink the side that's going to be facing out. I am inking the edges of this little flip flap. That's what I'm calling it too, flip flap. All right, more inking on the other side. Sorry, I'm giggling to myself because like, <laughs> I was calling myself senile a little while ago. And so every time a Blake Shelton song comes on the radio <laughs> or on one of my kids' playlists, I say to my son, and it's usually the same one who's playing the music, I say something like, did I ever tell you that I met him? And he was like, the last time he did it, he was like, mom, every time. I'm like, really? I've told you that story every time? He's like, every time. Uh, and it's true, I did meet Blake Shelton and that was pretty cool. And he is like Chewbacca tall. Um, I'm very, very nice. Um, and this was like right about when he was, you know, hitting his stride when Old Red came out. So anyway, it was just, it was just so funny. He was just like deadpan because I have a dry sense of humor. My husband has a dry sense of humor. We're sarcastic all the time. But he was, he just like rolled his eyes like only a 14 year old can do and was like, mom, every time. <sighs> Probably going to be on my tombstone. Did I tell you about that time I met Blake Shelton? I was going to say, it's like not a claim to fame, but it's funny. So, okay. 
So now I'm just taking them and I'm facing the, the, the parts I want hidden. I'm facing them outright. <laughs> they should not be back to back. That's the problem. These last two should not be back to back. So now if I put this like this, right, I glue it together and I put it like this, then it's going to flip up. There's going to be another spot and it's going to flip up. So I'm going to glue it so it'll do that. Okay. So, yeah, I, apparently, I am that old. Also, <laughs> Amazon tried to sell me a dot matrix printer today. <laughs> I didn't even know they still make them. And if they don't, why is Amazon trying to sell me a dot matrix printer? Ah. <laughs> oh. It cracked me up, though. <laughs> it's like Amazon's trying to sell me 1990. <laughs> uh, I amused myself anyway. I <laughs> so I hope I amuse you too. <laughs> Someday I'll tell you stories of why I refer to myself as my mother's name when I when I get a little uh, forgetful or can't find a word. All right, so th that's all I did was I took three pieces of paper and made three distinct writing spaces on one page in a book. So then I just grabbed from my, I've got my basket O clusters. I have, <laughs> oh, remember how I said I was gonna be the crass crafter at one point, like in my head I was going to be the crass crafter. There's a, there's a word that starts with cluster that I just really want to like, label my bin of clusters. Okay. I might do it anyway. More of a mental naming than anything. Anyway, so I just grab my clusters and, and I can, um, I've got to make sure that I don't put the cluster on where the, um, crease is. But other than that, you know, you don't want to put it like here and have it hang over either like that. You know, you don't want well, that could probably work, actually, um, having it hang over like this. But the whole thing probably can't. This this little flap probably probably be fine. In fact, I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to take my cluster bucket. <laughs> That's what I'll call it, my cluster bucket, even though it's a basket. Uh, close enough. So, there, this should bend no problem. So, yeah, I definitely ink up my clusters, too, before I put them down. Okay, so, this is, there, that's bendy. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna ink this cluster up. I'm gonna put it down here. This one is made of some stiffer papers. Um, more of a, yeah, more card stocky. So, and if you want, you can, I'm gonna put this in the corner like that. If you want, you can stamp on them. You can put a little, um, some sort of picture on them. Um, that kind of thing. I just grabbed, whoopsie, and this is, I'm having a problem here. 
because of the crease there. So that's why I mentioned to not do what I just did. So I told you and me, and I still did it anyway. Okay, so I got another, this cluster is pre-inked, yo. All right. And so I'm just gonna put this cluster there. That looks good. Can you see it? Yes, you can. All right. I'm gluing off camera, sorry. There. So now in a very short amount of time, we've got, yeah, maybe I trim this. I trim this. I liked it, but I don't think it's, I don't think I'm gonna like seeing it like that. So I'll just, I'll just fix it for myself. All right. Now you can put little pictures, like little cutouts of birds or, or you know, wildlife whatever and then when you attach it you're going to attach it like this you're going to attach it down so that this the back is going to be touching the whatever page you're trying to cover in fact i'll just glue it in here because i really um, think i can use the space so so i'm holding it now like it's just one piece of paper and I'm just gonna glue it like it's one piece of paper and then I'm gonna stick it like it's one piece of paper. <sighs> I may not be as amusing as I think I am, but I sure have a good time. So, <laughs> all right. There, so now I've got two spots in here that I can just flip up and right flip up and right. You guys, I'm so excited about this. It feels like an invention. It's probably not. It's probably been done elsewhere, but it feels like an invention and I like those. Yay. Okay. Apparently that's what I do with my hands when I'm excited. All right. I can't cover my glue. There we go. Okay. So now I want to go over this because I kind of want to clear this out and I want to also make it usable. So what I did is move that out, out of the way. If you hear my stomach rumbling, I'm sorry. Okay. So I just took these papers and I glued them together. I used my art glitter glue and I just ran it along the edge of whichever one was going to be on top and stuck it down. So it's just one big sheet now. Holy sheet. Okay, one big sheet of paper. And so I don't want any one piece, like if I put this like this, then it's got no like interest. There's no, like there was no point in me putting this one on here at all. So I'm gonna start over in this corner and I'm just gonna start fitting. Oops, yeah, cause I don't want this, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna start in this corner because this is where this one starts and the, there's the most coverage here to make the actual page. So I'm making these pages in a side, in a side, in a size, as I'm drawing on the side. I'm making these pages in a size that's gonna fit in actually a couple of different books that I have. So, um, so now I'm going to go this way. Yeah. I'm going to do this. It's got a nice, whoops, nice few pages on it. Whoops. I'm saying whoops a lot in this episode because I'm slipping my pencil a lot here. Okay. Nope. Okay, so it's an ish. Just because that's that's how I roll. All right. And see this part is not going to be incorporated. <laughs> if you can't see it, it's a bloody skull from a horror novel.
that I got at the dollar store. So now I've got these lines. I don't know if you can see them at all, but I've got these lines that I can cut out. I'm just going to start cutting like this. And when I ink the edges, if I don't erase the pencil, it will still go away. So, because I'll have inked over it and it will hide. And I like it when things hide that aren't supposed to be there. Okay. In crafting, like not people. If you're not supposed to be there and you're hiding, there's a problem. All right. I know it's really awkward the way that I am choosing to cut this out, but I do want to try to preserve the scraps of these book pages because um, I think they're neat and because um, they're a good size, but they're interesting. They're so interesting to me. Okay, so there's one page all cut out. And there's a scrap jumping, jumping away from me. Okay, so here's, oh, you know what? <laughs> Forgot to do the bottom, but I know that it was there. So there it is. Okay, scraps. All right. But I want to show you this once I have them. Yeah, see, I may have cut. No, nope, that's perfect. Thought I cut it a little short, but I didn't. Okay. Also, my pencil didn't mark in a few spots. So. Was this a whole thing? Yep. Cool. This is just a strip of the pages right here. All right, all right. There we go. Now, I have this for my scrap pile. Because I need more scraps. Because we all need more scraps. Right? But, I have these. And I can just take, oh, this is a pocket cluster that I made. That's neat. Didn't realize I had done that. Um, so, you know, when you put decorations on it, you're not even really going to be looking at what, you know, this says flinch. Maybe I don't want it to say flinch. So I cover it. Or maybe I take a word that, um, hmm. Maybe I take a word ugh, from my scrap pile and I ink it and I stick it like this. I don't know why I'm going to this much effort. I, you know, it's not a bad thing to do. I'm not sticking the envelope down. So that was my, my train of thought that derailed was, why am I going to this effort when I didn't stick this on? Why am I sticking this on? Well, because I could. I could stick this on too. So you're not gonna see the things that kind of make it rec like any recognizable when you're done decorating. So, anyway, so these are those pages, and you can ink around the edges of the pages too, which I, I will be doing later. I'm just not going to do it on camera because you've seen me ink because that's, I spend a lot of my time inking, a lot of time inking. So that was simple, and I just glued, you can use glue stick to glue the things together. Um, I'm 
not making a ton of coherent sentences right now. Um, I just glued the edges and you can use glue stick if you want. You can use whatever. That just happened to be what I had handy when I grabbed it. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's doodling on book pages, but I'm going to do it anyway because I said I was going to. Um, so I'm going to start with this one and I just use a pen to start drawing. And so I ended up having, I had black permanent markers and I don't know if, like it was just really weird timing that both of them died at the same time. Um, I'm gonna be purchasing more black felt tipped permanent markers soonish because they're like crapping out on me wicked quick. All right, so, okay, I'm just drawing something. Like I'm drawing a flower and I know that part, but really I'm just filling the space. And I personally like to draw lines that <clears throat> will define each area. So each petal has this like, I'm treating this as like the, the line drawing. So I'm pretending like, let's say it's a brush that that's, that's that brush and that <clears throat> it's just for defining the area. That's, that's probably a more in depth explanation than any of you wanted or needed. Okay. So I've got flower and I'm just going to draw some more flower petals and leaves and then make my lines and I'm just filling space and I'm pretending that this is cut off So, more space filling. So we are looking at doing some fall projects. It looks like I might be jiggling the table and I'm really sorry if I am. I will try to be more conscious of that and I'm not really sure what to do at this point because my robot arm seems to be jiggly then. I may have to stop using the robot arm, robot arm, but that would make me sad. So, there's one. And I'm going to do just another little one, littler one in this corner and in this corner all right i know it's not it's not thrilling but it's what i did so we'll make one page like this um I'm just going to go with another loop. I picture these like little doilies that I'm drawing. I mean, I'm not going to color them like doilies because I want. I might. I could. I could make them colorful doilies. All right. Let's do that. And so I've defined the space by making a border and I've got my pens. I literally just went to my pen drawer and grabbed whatever was under my hand. Okay. 
So, not traditional lace doilies. But, kind of neat. So I just grab whatever the next one in the pile is because I have rules in my head for everything and that's one of my rules. Like, don't pick and choose. That's how it works on some of my... Now sometimes I do, like where I alternate, I didn't realize these, this pen was gonna suck after a minute. Or I wouldn't have picked it to, or I wouldn't have done it this way. It looks like it's, it's more than my pens can handle. So then the next thing that I usually do after this point is color it in black with my black Sharpie. And then I run the Sharpie over all of the lines to help um, distinguish them, make them stand out a little better. So like it's the difference between, you know, this and this. So that's what I do. Next, oops, I'm jiggling the table again. One of the things I need to put on my to-do list is to flip this table over and fix the legs. <laughs> but, so I'm just coloring kind of however I want on this book page and using it. And I think it just adds something that it's on the background of a book page, personally. Oh, see here's some oranges that I missed. I wasn't paying attention so and when you put back uh, black in the background of it of all of these it it just makes it pop um, right the orange that I forgot so Yeah, so eldest child is going to be hanging out with us tonight for a little bit for his weekly dinner. So I gotta like, I gotta stop crafting you guys and clean off my table. I don't wanna, but I do wanna visit with the child, so. Alright, so, and you can, you know, color in the background any color you want. You don't have to color in the background. You can color it in, you can, you know, color in rainbow patterns. You can, oh, look at that, I'm skipping rows here. Alright, we'll make this whole outer area pink. Okie doke. Doke. All right. So, I'm sorry, it's so jiggly. I can feel it. It's really, it's really bothering me now. All right. So anyway, there's that drawn on, and I can just, I could tear a piece of it. I could put it, make tags out of it. I mean, there's some, like now it's just like a regular piece of paper. You can do what you want with it. Now, obviously it's like a regular piece of paper because it is a regular piece of paper, but you know what I'm saying? Like now it's just decorated paper and you can use it. You can just use it. I can't talk today, so maybe I should end this video. Um, if you liked what you saw today, please subscribe, like, share. Um, I have a group on in Facebook, on Facebook, at Facebook, with Facebook. I have a group on the Facebookies, and it is Wicked Crafty Mom. And we have a daily question and a daily prompt, and uh, you know, just something to inspire you, hopefully. 
and um, to get to know each other better. And uh, we do have a lot of fun. We have some great discussions there and we have lots of people that are looking to learn and we have lots of people that are looking to, you know, help others learn. So that's my spiel for that. Wicked Crafty Mom on Facebooky. <laughs> Facebook. Okay. And that's it. So thank you so much. Have a good time. Bye.